So it turns out my prediction was right. Kyle Rittenhouse was found not guilty on all charges in his basically case in reality of self-defense. So I'm going to show the article on uh, cbc.news or CBC News. Kyle Rittenhouse found not guilty on all counts in trial over Kenosha shootings. Rittenhouse claimed self-defense and deadly shooting that became the flashpoint in the U.S. And there's him right there. So, again, he was clearly acting in self-defense. The guys attacked him, they jumped him, they pointed a gun at him, and he simply shot them in self-defense. Okay, Self-defense is a concept that liberals and social liberals and communists don't like because they're a bunch of fascist devils. And they hate the idea of actually they want to defund the police and then they want to ban you from defending yourself too, essentially. And that's what they want to do. You can't defend yourself, but we're going to defund the police too so they can't defend you either. That's the mindset of these social liberal uh, Luciferians out there. We're going to get back to the article. Kyle Rittenhouse was acquitted of all charges Friday after pleading self-defense in the deadly Kenosha, Wisconsin shootings that became a flashpoint in the nation's debate over guns, vigilantism, and racial injustice. Rittenhouse, 18, began to choke up and fell forward towards the defense table and then hugged one of his attorneys as he heard a court clerk cite not guilty five times. A sheriff's deputy immediately whisked, whisked, him, ba out, whisked him out a back door. Uh, he wants to get on with his life, the defense attorney Mark Richards said. He uh, quote, has a huge sense of relief for what for what the jury did, did to him today. He wishes none of this ever happened, but as he said when he testified, he did not start this. The verdict in the politically uh, volatile case was met with anger and disappointment from those who saw Rittenhouse as a vigilante and a, wannabe, a wannabe cop. Vigilante? What about the BLM thugs riding all summer long, destroying cities? How come there's no guilt put on them? ridiculous these these luciferian blm satanists who are just running around destroying cities burning down stores how come there's no guilt put on them and last year the last year the media would cover the rioters but they won't even you know i mean when the january 6th thing happened the media is still talking about it right now they're still going on about it right now meanwhile the rioters that happened the riots that happened all summer long with blm and antifa satanists and luciferians the, the media barely even covers it they barely they don't even talk about it anymore as a very big liberal bias in the media, the left-wing media. Uh, let's talk about vigilante and as a wannabe cop and relief and vindication for those who regarded him as a patriot who wanted to stop lawlessness and exercise the Second Amendment right to carry a gun and to defend himself. Reverend Jesse Jackson, uh-oh, a longtime civil rights leader said the verdict, the verdict throws uh, uh, into doubt the safety of people who protest in support of black Americans. Really? So pointing a gun at somebody? And threatening them and hitting them with a skateboard is protesting about black protesting the support of black Americans. Burning down cities and burning down stores and rioting and acting like a bunch of Luciferian devil possessed maniacs is protesting in support of black Americans. You see how they totally try to twist the narrative? It's insane. I uh, quote, it seems to me that it's open season on human rights demonstrators, he said. Um how about these quote unquote human rights demonstrators don't try to attack people with guns and skateboards? Ever that cross your mind? You know, you see, they don't want to accept responsibility for their actions. They don't want to accept responsibility that you just don't get to attack people and not expect them to fight back in self-defense. That may make a lot of people upset and, and angry, but quite frankly, if that's too real for you, go watch something else. Because this is getting to the point of ridic ridiculousness, the, how they just don't want to accept any responsibility for their actions. Rittenhouse was charged with homicide, attempted homicide, recklessly endangering the safety for two men, Joseph Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber, and wounding a third, uh, Gage uh, Grosskratz, hope I'm saying the name right, with an AR-style semi-automatic rifle in the summer of 2020 during a tumultuous night of protests, protest, it was rioting, over the shooting of a black man, Jacob Blake, by a white Kenosha police officer. Rittenhouse, then 17 years old and a former police youth cadet, uh, said he went to the Kenosha to protect property from rioters. He is white, as were those he shot. So, how are you protesting for Black Lives when you know they shot white people? They're saying, oh, it, it's a, he's uh, attacking Black Lives Matter, yet he shot two white guys. Uh, how does that work? Oh, they're protesting for Black Lives. Yeah, pointing a gun at somebody and hitting them with a skateboard definitely is protesting for Black Lives. Get real. 
Uh, the jury, whose racial makeup was not disclosed by the court but appeared to be overwhelmingly white, deliberated for close for, for, uh, to three and a half days. U.S. President Joe Biden called for calm, saying that while the outcome of the case quote, will, will leave many Americans feeling angry and concerned, myself included, we must acknowledge that the jury has spoken. Well, tough talk coming from Joe Biden, who's got 24/7 armed security. You know, he you know he does he, he doesn't like the idea of Americans owning guns. Coming from person who owns, who basically has the whole Secret Service protecting him, who has 24/7 armed security. You know, he doesn't know what it's like to actually be a normal citizen who has to defend himself from a bunch of devil-possessed Luciferians out on the streets, like these BLM thugs. You know, oh, he's very angry himself included. Does he actually not even watch the video? But again, you know, Joe Biden, I do think, might have dementia. So, and I'm not, I'm not the only one who thinks that, by the way, but I do think he might have dementia. So he's not in his right mind all the time. He's a, a Roman Catholic Jesuit too, by the way, which is a big issue there. Rittenhouse could not have been sentenced to life in prison if found guilty on the most serious charge, or could, or could have been sentenced to life in prison if found guilty on the most serious charge, first degree intentional homicide, or what other states call first degree murder. Two other charges each carried over 60 years behind bars. Kenosha Dis uh, County District Attorney Michael Gravely said his office respects the jury's decision, and he asked the public to, to quote, accept verdicts peacefully and not resort to violence. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the evidence was presented, the evidence was shown and the jury found him not guilty. Just accept the results, plain and simple. Okay? Yes, the courts are not perfect. Yes, the courts have their issues. But the evidence clearly showed he was acting in self-defense in this case. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to show this picture right here before I close this video off. So he says right here, self-defense is not a crime. Free Kyle. Exactly. Self-defense is not a crime. Okay? And I'm not going to read this whole article. It's, it's a pretty big article. But uh, I'm going to show a few scriptures real quick on the issue of self-defense, scriptural self-defense, uh, because self-defense is a biblical concept. Okay, don't don't believe the heretics out there who want to tell you that self-defense, you can't have self-defense, it's, it's good to be pacifism. Pacifism is, is a satanic false doctrine, okay? And yes, I do say satanic because it is satanic. The idea that you can't defend your family and can't defend yourself is satanic and it's unscriptural. Okay, Exodus chapter 22, verse 2. If a thief be found breaking up and be smitten that he die, there shall no blood be shed for him. If if the sun be risen upon him, there shall be there shall be blood shed for him, for he shall make full restitution, for if he have nothing, then shall he be sold for his theft. Okay? What's going on in that verse there? Well if a thief is in your house, you can't see it, you can't see him, it's dark out, you have a right to kill him to defend your family. Okay? If a thief be smitten that he die. Okay, if a thief's in your house, he's stealing your things, he's threatening, threatening your family, and you can't see him, you can kill him, according to that passage right there. Uh, Psalms. Let me find the exact verse. Psalms. Sorry, search, searching up the verse reference. Yeah, so it's Psalms 82, verses 3 to 4. Defend the poor and fatherless, do justice to the afflicted and needy, deliver the poor and needy, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. Okay? That's commanded right there. You're supposed to do that. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. Defend the poor and fatherless. You can defend yourself. And one last final, there's many scriptures I can cover too. Another good scripture I want to cover. This is a good verse to use against those professing Christians who support gun control. Uh, Luke chapter 22, verse 36. Uh, 36 to 38, sorry. Then, he, then said he unto them, uh, but now he that hath the purse, let him take it, and likewise he, his scrip, and he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say unto you, at this t that this that is written, must ye, must be ye, sorry, must yet be, sorry, not good at reading on a computer, must yet be uh, accomplished in me, and he was reckoned among the transgressors, for the, these, the things concerning me have an end. And they said, Lord, behold, here are two swords, and he said unto them, it is enough. Okay, he that hath no sorrow, let him sell his garment and buy one. Okay, you're commanded. You know, Jesus Christ commanded his disciples to own a sword. If they can't afford a sword, sell sell their garments and buy one. Plain and simple. Self defense is scriptural, and pacifism is a satanic doctrine out of the pit of hell. Plain and simple. So don't be deceived by this pacifism garbage. And it's great that Kyle Rittenhouse was found not guilty because it just shows self defense is a right. It's a it's a right. It's a con I mean, I'm not American, but I do know that the Constitution does give self defense as a constitutional right. The right to bear arms, too, obviously. So, anyway, don't be deceived by all the social liberal insanity. And it's great that it was found not guilty. It's a big win for, for, for those of us who believe in self defense.
you know, even if you're not even American. It just shows that America still has some freedoms left. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.